everyone's doing good. This is Haima from Haima's Adorable Cuties, and I, I'm so sorry I haven't been able to be on um, lately because I've been taking care of a lot of things, trying to get a lot of things done. Um, I have uh, quite a few uh, things I need to bring forward and introduce. Um, been babies there's been babies I've been working on because you know I like to get the painted kits and I like to put them together and so it's been about three painted kits that I've gotten from um, I got one from Timu and uh, two from Aliexpress um, that I now have put together and I received another baby the other day that I just redid um, because I wanted a different feel and it is a boy, but um, I will be bringing them before you sometime that later this week. And today I have Miss Faith with me. Not Faith, Fawn. I don't know why I said Faith. Miss Fawn with me, and um, I'm gonna change her into another outfit real quick because I, you know, I just I haven't been on here in a little while. I was just so disappointed because I wanted to go to the Dolly meetup, and then some other things came up pressing things that I had to take care of right away and just but it was so nice to be able to sit and watch the videos and see Spring Flower and Cena, um, Mandy's of uh, Cuddlebug Nurseries and all of them having a good time and enjoying things. And it looked like I saw Gwen too from Bella's um Bella's uh, nursery and uh it was a couple of ones I saw but I was just looking so forward to going to it and um you know, meeting everyone in person, and I do hope that um, um, there is a, a, a plan to have another one next year. Um, it would be so nice. Um, it would be nice to have one in, you know, a little bit, I live in Georgia too, but a little bit closer to the area that I live in. Um, it would be nice, which that's something I can think about and reach out to everybody about. Um, but um, it was just so awesome because it was going to be a little closer to where I am this time. Usually all of them are like in other states and other places, but this time it was actually in Georgia where I live. But anyway, I don't want to keep harping on that. <laughs> it just, you know, I was just hurt that I was not able to go because it was my plans to go and I had everything set to go and then, you know, something happened, but it's okay. I'm here and I'm about to do like a little changing video of Miss Fallon Fawn, my cute little baby. And I don't even know what kit this is. I saw this baby on Amazon and she was so chunky. And I was just like, you know what? I'm getting that baby. That baby is so chunky. And I really thought she was bigger than what she was, but um, you know, she's not, she's, she's kind of chunky, but short. And she's she's so cute. Um, but I do think um, I'm going to add some hair to her later on. You know, it won't be like a lot of hair, but um, you know, considering um, adding some more hair to her um, later on. You know, when I get a chance, I've got just got to get some more hair because I am out of more hair. But um, she had on this little outfit right here, which was so cute. But she's had it on for a little while now. And I'm kind of, I'm taking it off her now. And I'm going to put her on another little outfit. And another little onesie. But yeah, she's a chunky little something. But, you know, uh, it's just been a lot of stuff that I've, you know, I've been trying to deal with, guys. My children. Oh, my God. My boys are grown. But my oldest. <laughs> I, I just, I, I don't even know. But, you know. He's doing good, but uh, there are some there are some things that he was kind of going through, and you know, as a mother, you know, we try not to get involved, but we get involved anyway, and you know, we just you know work it through. I mean, everybody's still good. My grandbaby's still good. Her mom's still good. You know, we as I told you, we have another little one on the way, and we do know it's a boy. Um, he will. Um, he will be coming towards the end of the year. So we're excited about that. But, you know, it's just sometimes when you look at your children and you know they could be 
a little further than what they are. It's just some of the foolishness that they do. And you know, it kind of, that, that stuff really like affects me. It affects me big time. And I just, you know, I try, I try not to dip. I try not to um, get all in their business. But you know, it, 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 it ends up where I'm in the business because they kind of bring me into business because no matter what, I'm going to be their mom and I don't care how old they get, <laughs> they're going to be my babies. And um, it's just, you know, some stuff just, I just don't quite understand it. But, you know, I've been praying about it, you know, and I, you know, we, it's so easy for us to say, you know, we're going to give it to the Lord and let him have it. And then we're just gonna take our hands off it, but it's so hard to kind of just take your hands off situations that involve your children, and it just—it's just been that time. So you all pray for me um, as I pray for you. Just you know, I just to get my mind settled because you know you, you never have any kind of comfort. You never feel comfortable when you know that you know things are going on with your children, and you kind of know they're holding back some things. And then you start seeing some of the things happening and they still not saying nothing. And so you have to kind of like pull it out of them. But, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm thankful to God because they're healthy. Um, they're, they're, they're pushing towards that mark each and every day. You know, grandchildren are coming now. You know, it's just sometimes you just go through some things. So, you know, that's, that's what I've been dealing with lately. You know, I'm not trying to put a damper on everything, but that's it but guys this is miss fallon fawn this is fawn see how chunky she is look at my chunky girl look at my chunky girl right there she is so chunky look at that and i had i was gonna change her body one time but then when i changed it over to them i said no she needs her original body because the, the chunk that's down to the bottom and with her i mostly have um poly pellets in her i do have some polyfill but she does not have like i usually do a stocking of um fine glass beads she does not have that she is pretty much just poly pellets and i like the feel of her now i do have um gla glass beads in her limbs and in her head because like I said for the weight you know because I do like for my baby's heads to move you know just like a real baby so I'm gonna put her on this little onesie and you all have seen this on some of my little babies but I just wanted to change her and come on here because I haven't been on in a while like I said I mean and I just felt really bad because I haven't done a video in a little while I didn't end up I did not go to the dolly meetup like I intended to. It's just, you know, it was just, and it, it just made me feel so bad because I, I, you know, I was so excited about going and I was just so anxious to go. And you know, like I said, things happen and that's exactly what it is, but there'll be another one. And you know, I'll make plans for that one too. And I pray that it is meant for me to be there. You know, it just wasn't meant for me to be to this one, but there will be others. So I'm going to finish getting her dressed so you guys can see her in this little, this little romper that she has. Um, I, I love these rompers on my girls. Um, I think it makes them look so girly and cute, and it's just, you know, so fitting for a baby girl. And uh, I just love it. I love these on toddlers, too, because it just, I don't know, it just makes them, it makes them look so cute. And um, that's why I like to get these rompers, and I'm planning on getting some more, because I've got a, uh, I finally got a Joseph three months um, asleep sculpt. Um, that is another kit that I got from AliExpress, and I have her put together. I named her Apple, and she has some rompers. She's a big girl, though. She's big. Apple wears six to nine months. I still have not weighed her. When I bring her on, I'm going to make sure I have her weighed so I can share her weight with you guys so you can see how chunky she is because she's so big, but she's so cuddly. You know, to be a big baby. Because now, with her, I have mostly poly pellets in her also. But I named her um, Apple Alora. 
and I will be trying to get on with her soon so you guys can see her. But right now, it is Miss, um, we got Miss, um, Fawn on, and I'm just trying to find a little bow for her. There it is. I think that was, that'll work. This is going to be good. Yep. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. Okay. All right, guys, here she is. Here's Fallon Fawn. Like I said, I do not know what kit this is. This is a babe side baby um, that I saw that I just thought so was so adorable on Amazon. And, you know, I told you how easy it is for me to get away from it because I look at the faces and the faces are so adorable. But it wasn't just her face. It's just the fact that she's just chunky. Look at those limbs. She's just chunky say chunky chunky but she is a sweet little girl she got her ears her ears already pierced i changed her earrings the other day um because i just thought she would be cuter with little earrings she has some like little pearls on but i got some smaller ones and i put those in her ear instead if you can see from the side and later on i think i'm gonna give her some hair because she does have painted hair right now you can see it right there and she is just so chunky and sweet. Look at this sweet girl. Look at this sweet girl. And she did come with a passy. And she also came with um, um, newborn toys. Um, like little rattles and stuff. But you know, I use them as props sometimes. But most of the time, I give them to my grandbaby when she here. She plays with them. But, um, because I'm really not too into that stuff. But she came with a bottle. She came with a pacifier because she does have a magnet. And because she came and you know like I said with every baby that I get I always reweigh them because it's not that they're not weighed nicely it's just to me they have no weight most of the time when these babies come she actually had some, you know just to have polyfill inside her she had some good weight to her but mm -mm, the head was not moving like I wanted to like when she moves see that that's what I want <laughs> that is really oh my god she reminds me so much of how chunky i was when i was little because when you look at my pictures i was so chunky and then she's got these little um kind of like ankle socks on with the frills and then this little outfit and then this little headband to go with it all right guys well i didn't want to come and stay for long you know i just wanted to come and you know just see you and talk to you and do a little change and let you guys know that i'm still here i haven't gone anywhere um just been going through some stuff but i'm making it through you know prayer and, and just pushing pressing on my pressing my way each and every day and as always you know i always say don't allow anyone to steal your joy please don't because it is so much going on right now joy is the main thing that we need we definitely need joy to continue on each and every day with a smile and to make sure that we keep all of that negativity out of our lives so we can continue on in joy. So don't allow anyone to steal your joy. And as always, like Springfall says, this is a doll connection. And I just love the way we connect and we we um, reach out to each other and encourage and inspire each other. Because that's what this is about. So guys, until the next time, Homes Adorable Cuties is out and fun and i say bye for now all right guys bye guys have a great rest of your week and like i said hopefully i'll be able to come back all right until the, until the end bye bye